Give me in the background. Yes, I'm filming. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> so we arrived in Drimmen. Drimmen? Drimmen? Somewhere. The, the satellite says Drimmen. I say Drimmen. But anyway, <laughs> we have arrived. Uh, it's been, yeah. Hold on, yeah, quite a long drive up, seven, eight hours, I suppose, probably. A couple of stops. Uh, a couple of stops. It's been very wet. The whole way's been really wet, and it is Rain. it's raining now. Uh, the forecast for tonight is pretty bad. Rain and thunderstorms. Rain and thunderstorms. Uh, but anyway, we're here at the start, about to do the... Uh, Rob Roy Way to start with, that's the first port of call, um, starting here from the town and then we're, we're probably not filmed too much tonight because <laughs> it's going to be really wet and we just want to sort of get a little way, probably about five miles up the road and then find somewhere to camp tonight um, and then crack on tomorrow. But anyway, here we are. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just camped in the woods last night, which was lovely by the by the river. It's very nice. So the plan overall is to do 300 miles, starting and ending in Drimmen. So we're starting off on the Rob Roy Way, to what we're doing at the moment. And um, then we've got a section up through the Cairngorms. That ends in Aviemore. Then from there we go down the East Highland Way, which finishes in Fort William. And then Fort William, West Highland Way, back down to Drimmen again. So that's the plan. We will walk 300 miles. Aye, so, uh, so yeah, so uh, it, the time now is about half past, what is it, half eight nearly. Um, so we've got probably about 15 miles ish today. Um, weather is okay. Is so okay. Far. It's a lot dry. It was a bit dry last night. We had a sheltered spot. Um, very wet. It was, yeah, it had been very wet, um, but dry at the minute. So we're going to make the most of it. Um, and head off for the day. See you later.
So yesterday we walked about 18 miles. We ended up in where was Strathray. it? Strathray yesterday. Uh, we were going to wild camp, but we just couldn't find anywhere to stop. Uh, it was raining very heavily. Most of the it day. rained most of the day, really quite quite badly. Um, yeah, towards the end of the evening, it was thunderstorms. Um, yeah, couldn't find the, the places we kind of planned to stop. There just wasn't anywhere. It was just all completely overgrown. Um, so um, when we got to places we could do, then we were back into the camping management zone where you're not allowed to wild camp this time of year. There were some really nice places we could have if we were allowed. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> just just not allowed. Uh, so we found a very nice B and B in Strathray. Uh, spent the night there, it's very nice, dried out, had a meal last night, very big breakfast this morning, which was a great way to start the day, uh, dried some stuff out, uh, and set off about half nine. half nine this morning, the weather is much improved at the moment, uh, the forecast today is fortunately quite a bit better, uh, which is good. Um, Should be doing about 16 miles today, and then wild camping tonight. Yes, well. <laughs> that's the plan. Um, yeah, 16 miles today. Um, yeah, should be good. I'm not happy with my leg situation. He's fly nip for flies. Yeah. So I seem to be a magnet for anything, any fly insect within about a 10 mile radius. Um, and it's not even buggy. I've not really <laughs> had any midges. It's been pretty good, to be honest. But somehow, in two days, already I've counted 54 bites on my legs. Just so we're aware, I've got about three. I'm with him. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I'm taking one for the team here, to be fair. Um, so I'm hoping it's kind of got to the stage where there's not actually much of my leg left for them to be able to bite anymore. Um, so it might might be uphill from here. Hmm? It's just starting to rain again. It's rained most of, well, we had about two hours of nice. I actually had my sunglasses on and now it's raining and it's been raining quite a lot to the point where we're soaked through and we've just stopped for lunch because it was the first dry time. And the rain's coming Just again. Just started raining. We so got very wet earlier. We're going to need to stop filming and probably start walking. Yep. Bye. Bye. set up the tent in the sun and then we were getting ready in the sun and we had dinner in the sun it was very exciting <laughs> can you tell <laughs> actually dried out which was which was very nice nice to actually be dry for a minute um quite a dry night actually. it was a dry night it was a cool it was a cooler night because we've climbed up a bit here we're a bit higher than we were um today's forecast is poor 
so heavy rain rain heavier than yesterday so what we wanted nice. it's fine it's nice wearing the waterproofs <laughs> so yeah it should be yeah bad forecast for today um but you never know yesterday's supposed to be a good forecast but it ended up not being well, great did in the end it, yeah it turned out all right in the end and we have actually packed up the tent and it was dry it rained at six and then we sort of left camp at seven or packed up and got away at 7 15 and it was dry from sort of 6 30 onwards so and we camped we camped near a Lachlan I'm not sure what it's called uh, great big dam there though <laughs> perfect uh, great big dam um, so that was that was good and then we've got about 18 miles I think today and find somewhere else to camp don't really know where yet to the woods, to the woods. <laughs> uh, so yeah onward and upward Scottish. <laughs> so, yeah, again, didn't feel much yesterday. Bit of a recurring theme because horrendously Rain. wet again. Very wet. Um, and also, yesterday was a bit of a slog, to be honest. Um, we set off at 7.15, we arrived at 6.45, so just under 12 hours. But we walked 25 miles. Yeah, bigger than we expected because we were just, we were just soaked through, really. Um, so we walked all the way to Abba Feldy in the end and stayed in a B&B &B there. Um, yeah, it was a lot of road walking yesterday, mm -hmm. just sort of plodding out the miles really. There wasn't a great deal of scenery. A little bit of Loch Tay, which was nice, and the morning bit was nice, but other than that, quite a lot of trudging in the rain. Um, but anyway, this morning's much brighter and we've had pastries. We've been to the bakery, so I've had sausage rolls and we've had cakes, which is obviously a great way to start any day. Uh, and now we've got a short day today. We're, we've already got a B&B &B booked uh, in Pit Lockery, which will be the end of the Rob Roy Way. So we've got about 10 miles a day. So a nice easy one, we're walking down the side of uh, the River Tay at the minute. It's all very pleasant and dry. Um, sunglasses, note. Nope. Actually sunglasses. And not just because it's so windy I can't see. No. Actual sun. Um, so yeah, that's that's today really. Um, yeah, ending up in Pitlockery today. Um, yeah, a bit of a short one. Give the feet a rest. I've been a little bit battered yesterday. Mine are well strapped. My, my footwear's been rubbing so my toes are a bit sore. And you've had a couple, you've got quite a big blister. I've got a blister between mm. my big toe and the next toe which is weird. But so, Nicely today. So yeah, we got a couple of two couple of short days now. Um, gonna stop and restock in Pit Lockery yeah. before we head on to the Cairngorm section. But also we're gonna go and get some waterproof socks, which we didn't bring with us, which is stupid. No, well we're gonna go and get some now. <laughs> we didn't realise we'd be swimming, basically. <laughs> uh, so anyway, there you go. Uh hearts to dear and uh, we'll see you later on. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Pit Lockery, which was the end. So we finished the Rob Roy Way. Yay! 
done the rule, that's it. And we didn't have any rain on the last day, just a little bit of spitting. No rain, but that was just me. Exciting. But other than that, other than my spitting, <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, finished the Rob Roy Way. Heading to Blair Athol today. Short route, about... Uh, Ten miles. Ten miles, nine miles, ten miles. Uh, something <laughs> like that. We don't really know. Uh, uh, not important. Um, so we're just walking through the woods at the minute. We've restocked up at co-op. We've got our food again. We stayed at B&B, &B, which had a lovely big breakfast. Great breakfast. Took, took advantage of that one. Great breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> good breakfast. very good breakfast. <laughs> so ready for the day. Yes, yeah, short day today. Um, bit iffy, on and off, a bit wet, but okay, not too bad. In the woods at the minute, so fairly sheltered. Um, Blair Athol tonight at another establishment, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Just an easy one today. Fingers crossed. There we go. See you later. Rain again. Just a few minutes, it gets really puddly. <laughs> it's dark under here, under the bridge, like a couple of trolls. <laughs> Stop for a drink. Yeah. It's so rainy. <laughs> we're only about 45 minutes away from Blair Athol, and we thought we'd get there. We were wrong. When the heavens open, and they open, they go, they go real bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect. Just waiting out the rain, really. This is. I don't think we'll wait out the rain. This is the glamorous side of walking. This is pretty much every day so far, apart from maybe one or two. Yeah. Or one. And then half. <laughs> Rainy! Next stop, Blair Athol. That's more rain.